Matthew 17. Well, here in Matthew 17, we have one of the clearest prophecies of the death of Jesus. He was aware in very great detail that he would die and then resurrect, come back to life three days later. So he says, And while they stayed in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man shall be delivered up into the hands of men, and they shall kill him, and the third day he shall be raised up. And the disciples were greatly distressed. But when Jesus did die, the disciples were bitterly disappointed and confused. Jesus appeared to two of them after he had resurrected, and they didn't recognize him, first of all, and they complained. Our rulers delivered him up to be condemned to death and crucified him, but we had hoped that it was he who would redeem Israel, and moreover, beside all this, it is now the third day since these things happened. So for those disciples, the fact three days have passed since the death of Jesus was a reason to be depressed. Why didn't they pay more attention to what he said? Several times he'd clearly explained what was going to happen. He would die by crucifixion. Three days later, he would rise from the, from the dead. But the disciples didn't get it, did they? They heard the words of Jesus, but they just didn't let them really sink down into their minds. And this is my point. We can be just the same. We can hear the most basic, simple statements of Jesus and not really pay any attention to them. We are, for example, assured many times that God will provide. He will look after us. And we will never be tempted more than we can endure. We are assured that death is not going to be the final end for us. We will live forever. We are assured God wants to forgive us. He wants to save us. God is really interested in us. Man is not alone in this world. Now, these things are really stated in very simple, clear language, which cannot be misunderstood. But we just don't really believe those things all the time. We doubt. We feel God is far away, that life is, is too much for us. We wonder whether God is real, whether really we will live forever in God's kingdom. And sometimes we need to focus upon some of these really clear, simple statements and believe them and not be like the disciples who heard these plain statements, but just didn't really pay attention to.